Bridget, it's so important for students to be able to express their experience with any given assignment. This is certainly a wonderful example of that. This is fantastic. I think it, it, it's, it's really important for students to be able to express themselves. And one of the, the reasons is that we instructors tend to learn a lot about how you're learning based on what you're saying. In a lot of cases, I learn just as much about what you're learning based on your writing as I do looking at the work. And, and I'm not kidding, I'm, I'm serious about this. So please keep up the great job here. This is fantastic. Um, and this is relevant to save this writing, all of your writing, because our final project part two, a lot of it has a requirement of describing your process. And this is just perfect for that. Um, requirement. So please hang on to that. Be sure you, you'll see when we get into that, you'll see, wow, this is going to, this is really going to save you a lot of time. So good job there. So everything is described beautifully. Your methodology is described beautifully. And I happen to think that your methodology is, is quite close to what I consider to be a professional workflow. You talk about starting out with research and studying what the company gave you. That's exactly where we start here. You're, you're so right about that. You're talking about color harmony. You're talking about elements and principles layout, you're talking about methodology and designers intent that's all good stuff man you're going to be asked to to describe things like this the rest of your design career so i think it's such a great practice to get started while you're you're a student so please keep up the wonderful work bridget as we work through the class um i see that you've got a jpeg i, I don't think we need it i think we can i can fit everything i need right in this window here actually i take that back i am going to download that jpeg um, I just want to make sure that we can see everything we can see everything we need to see. So this will just take a second. I'm, I apologize. I should have had this open before we started, but this should just only take one quick second here. Yeah, there we go. So let me just reduce this and we'll get that in the window. And we're good to go. Okay, so I do think it's a, it's a fantastic start. Definitely. A couple of things I recommend here. So let me grab something so I can use it here. I just want to take a look at that margin right there, because right now it looks like the line is aligned with the margin. I don't think we need that line right there, that, that uh, vertical line. So I'm going to use this as a straight edge, and I'm going to check your margins. And, and for sure, your left margin is aligned with that line, which means you have an indent. We don't need to do that. I, I don't recommend that leading line right there. There's no reason. It's just adding something that doesn't need to be there. So let's get rid of that line and pull that type out so we're all left aligned right here. I want to stay left aligned. I don't want to bring the, the type anywhere else because we've got the weight of the, the masked image and we need to counterweigh that. So let's go ahead and, and get this. And I also think your type's a little bit low in, in the composition. So what I would recommend is this two free yoga classes. That can actually be a little bit larger. Watch my cursor. That can be something like that. Two free yoga classes. And then for new customers through September 2020. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not even sure if you need that through 2020, but for new customers, and you want to get that away from the headline just a little bit. That's called letting. You just want to increase the space between the headline and sunlight just a little bit, and then get that left margin. Other than that, your typography looks beautiful. Uh, as I said, move the headline and subhead up just a little bit in the composition. You can even move this up. Um, what I want to do is, is move this up. So if we follow her, I cite line she's looking right at the headline and that's a good thing because what's going to happen is people will look at her they'll follow her sight line right to the headline and they'll start reading down the lines so that's very very effective technique there good job good choice um the black for the subhead by the way you might consider um title case on that just uh, uh capitalize the first letter put it the f and then also think about presenting that in something other than that pure black. That pure black is advancing too much in the composition. I think it's, I, I, try purple, that purple right there. Um, okay, my next recommendation is to, this bottom of the composition is, is really dissimilar to the rest of the composition in that it almost looks like this is a completely separate ad for the page, right? And I'm a little bit worried about that. I don't want the viewer to, to get confused, think that's something different than look away. My recommendation is, I'm not real sure how much room you have in this background image, but my recommendation is to use the background image for the entire um, 
don't don't use this boy. Just put, extend that image to the entire background and place your type right over the image. In that case, what you can do is take the logo, place it in the lower right hand corner for a good exit strategy. If it doesn't work out well, use that purple back uh, purple background logo. And then you can place your, your type right over here. Now, I have a feeling this is going to be pretty textured and difficult to, to view the type if it's placed over the image where the sand is. If that is the case, if it's too difficult, just what you want to do is that if, if you can't fit your type in the bottom, take your logo, put it at the right-hand side, okay, right in line with that. We got her as a left. Try it both right, right and left, see what balances out better. Um, and then what you can do with the, the type is just in white type, you can just span your uh, contact information right across the top of, the, of the, the page. And you can see an example of that over in those announcements. So you have a couple of options in that regard, but uh, I think just a couple of things here will really clean up the, the, the look and the feel of this ad just a little bit. Right now it's just a little bit fragmented. And I think with these minor adjustments, we'll, we'll be right exactly where we need to be. So those are my recommendations as we work towards finalizing the magazine. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know immediately so we can incorporate those in your final submission, which is coming up here quickly in a couple of weeks. I'd like to see those uh, changes reflected in your final submission. If you would like to make those changes and run this by me again, I'm more than happy to take a look at it and comment. Uh, but don't forget your final banner ad will be based on your final, or I'm sorry, I should say your banner ad will be based on your final magazine ad. So we want to wrap this up as, as soon as possible. All right. So uh, at any rate, yeah, it's fantastic. I love it, man. You're just right in there. So great job, Bridget. Thank you very much.